Hi everyone, two really obvious scenarios are playing out before our eyes and this is exactly how I've got it pitched on my chart. Super, super easy. I think if this, then that's pretty clear we're consolidating into a wedge. We could be following the blue here or we could be following this yellow downward line into volume support just to shake everyone out, get a, get a bit of fear into the markets down to 52, 49,000. That's definitely there. But I think a break above, you know, 75, then we're definitely going higher and a break below 65, then we're really going to see this play out in my view. So really no man's land at this point, but so far some promising signs. Let's flick on over to the Wyckoff as well. I put this in the newsletter if you haven't seen it before. I just mapped out what it would look like if we were playing out a little mini Wyckoff distribution here at the top, meaning we've found that top. This is going to follow this exactly, essentially, and then push us down to that 50, 49,000 mark. So sometimes it's fun to forecast out what it might look like. And thus far, it is actually following the Wyckoff pretty darn well at the top phase. Now, it might not match up with volume, etc., but I just wanted to show you the pattern on how it's moving through. So we can expect if this is going to play out, sideways chop, a run up to 65, 64K, and then actually a bit of a fake out and then coming back down here for the final low. We'll have to see if that plays out. Uh, also, we've seen BlackRock come onto the scene just recently and say how bullish they are on real world assets. They're building on Ethereum that created a fund. So they're keen to tokenize everything. So real world assets came out of the, the mouth of Larry Fink at BlackRock. So that is a trend that they're telegraphing is on its way. If you weren't aware, we actually put real world assets in our top five trends at the start of the year. So if you haven't seen this, go to our website. You can just go to resources here, go under reports. You can check out uh, more about the ETFs that we did a report on, which is almost played out to an absolute T and also the trends. Uh, Bitcoin's golden age. So a lot of things in there that'd be super, super interesting. You see, here's a snapshot of the newsletter, uh, you rather the report, which you can open up, flick through at your leisure. But we talk a little bit about it here in a few of the pages previously. So nice and easy UI, you can just flick through it. So it's not a, many pages at all. A lot of it's, uh, you know, pictures and graphs and us explaining what's coming. So some of this is playing out really, really nicely. So I wouldn't sleep on real world assets. Also something that's caught my eye is Ethereum. So Eth, Seen a lot of uh, hate on it and doomsday stuff again on Ethereum, just like it was, you know, through this region and also through this region was making this move downwards. Uh, there is some definite headwinds for Ethereum without this ETF here. However, I think we're approaching a sentiment bottom. If Bitcoin runs though, that could put, you know, FBTC to the sword a little bit, but it doesn't mean USD is going to, you know, drop too much. I'm just looking at it here though as a pure risk reward. I drew the Fibonacci retracement uh, from the F low, the F bear market bottom. All the way to the top and it looks like we've got a, a little bit of a runway down to say 45 this starts to gather some steam don't think it's over by any means especially if bitcoin runs higher uh but i think once ethereum does find its footing altcoins can then have a bit of a run layer twos are going to find it really tough to run in an environment where ethereum is not getting any love so just wanted to throw that out there some things you can try and be a little bit contrarian in your thinking and your investing when you hear everyone's just hating on something try and do the opposite or at least consider the opposite as a strategy as well uh, because the money is not made in the herd it's being contrarian and doing uh, the opposite of what everyone else is doing so guys have a wonderful day see you later bye, -bye.